Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we just got back with Barry Season 3, Episode 1. It just released. I said that really weird, different than usual, but we are going to talk real quick. Recap, because it just released. It is Gene at the end figures out that Barry Berkman, Barry Block, is what he heard Fuchs say in his ear. Janice is dead. He saw her in the car. He was clearly traumatized. Everything was probably going crazy in his head because, like, he just saw or is seeing the woman he loves dead. Basically amounts to him almost going to jail. He gets released because they see the pin, the Chechen pin in the trunk with Janice. They let him go. He goes home with his son. His son talks to Barry for a little bit. Barry goes in guns blazing, kills a bunch of NoHo Hanks people. Esther is shot in the head. Everyone was running around like lunatics. Fuchs got away. Let's just jump in real quick and we'll talk at the end. I don't know where they're going to start. It's a short episode. It's called Forgiving Jeff and it's only 29 minutes and if you take out the intro and the exit, at best, 25 minutes. Let's jump in. You guys want to see more of what I do? Full on edited reactions, all the shows on the channel seasons out of what you're seeing hundreds of exclusives you only see on patreon if you're seeing this on youtube odds are i'm further ahead on patreon and full on edited there's also season one and two and i also do bonus stuff check it out if not here we go season three episode one Barry. I mean, there's a ton of other things going on, too. There's, like, the whole thing with Sandy and the whole play that was going on, and Sandy changed everything. We could skip the recap. There we go. We skipped the recap. I was going to talk during it. Do we have a new intro? All right, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? I got the wire shirt, guys. Where is he? I hear him screaming. I want to cut off his eyelids. I thought you wanted me to shoot him after he was done digging the hole. Oh. My mind. This is the tree and the scene we see in all the thumbnails and stuff. I just didn't use it yet. I think we're going to call this off. What? What? No eyelids? Just shoot him? Sorry, he fucked my wife. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, and she's no saint. You will Oh, my. That's. I knew it. There's no forgiving Jeff. There you go. Forgiving Jeff is the name of the episode. So we just figured that one out. How dumb. You hire a hitman and then you tell him, you know what, I changed my mind. You gotta follow through on the plan with people like that or you're dead. Oh, hi. This is Batir. Cheers to Noah Hank and the greatness of him. It's my first interrogation, you know? I'm like legit nervous. If we don't hear from you in two hours, we will all take sign that bills. The debt has been paid. In the trunk of a car next to a detective's dead body. What? Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> that is super fucked up. A few days before the shooting. With, oh my God, look at him. He's one of the greatest ever. Dead man. Fuchs, yes, he sold out Fuchs, I love it. His name is, what is he called? The Raven. Where do we find him? <laughs> is what I'm saying? I mean, we know the detectives are morons because they were ready to arrest Gene and then they immediately released him. Now Fuchs is out in the middle of nowhere. Barry is literally just killing dudes to get by. Mountains of Chechnya. Yeah. So Noho Hank is not only pointing the fingers Hello, at I'm the Raven. I got two more flaky critters. They have no crunchies. Please show them, Fuchs. Please. That's the man. Boom. Thank God. They're defending him. Berkman left a pretty big audition. They're making it like Barry made sacrifices. Ex-boyfriend needs to go. We're picking up That's clients right now. Who live together? Chloe and your character. Well, they're mother and daughter. Oh. So, so yes. Did you live with your mother when you were in high school? What? Yeah, what? I what? I'm um, thinking of a different show. Oh. Don't talk in meetings. Actually, you know what? When I'm in a meeting, that is a great time for you to be making my snack. And now Natalie is having to pick up after Sally. I don't like that Sally's getting ahead based on just being selfish and shitty. Let me know what you think. But I, I dig the work ethic. That was a great montage. The way they did that, even though it wasn't a montage. I almost feel like she's actually filming the show. And this is all one shot. So far, this has been one shot for a while. Still blue. No one has even pressuring you to have sex. Barry is an emotional mess, and Sally has turned into this driven, working maniac. Kind of a bitch. A little uh, rough around the edges, but hey, she's doing her thing. I gotta respect that. Oh, he is. Oh my God! He just imagined shooting her in the head. Well, that's dark. He just imagined shooting her in the head. Batir. Oh, that's the new Lexus, I think. At least they got a nice camera system. Who was he going to visit? Oh, is this what's his face? Cristobal. 
Cristoba. Yes, we finally got interrogated by police today. Because the last episode, they uh, embraced, and Fuchs said, you guys are like my cats. <laughs> now, Cristoba and Noho Hank have a night. I mean, that's a sweet place. Your little boyfriend body killed all of my bodies. You know this. He killed all of my bodies. He we both had bodies killed. We buddies. We went I over the bodies. bodies. I have no bodies. <laughs> I guess he lost all of them. We didn't really get a head count. Barry ran through the place, shot everybody up. I didn't know whose was who. I know Esther died. I didn't know who was who, but apparently some of Noho Hank's guys survived. Oh, Even though Barry... Oh, Barry. Sorry, oh my God, you killed all of Cristobal's buddies. Oh, Don't man. be here. You need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Can you make me a chagalate? Sure. You killed all of his buddies, Barry. People hire me off of Craigslist, things like that, and That's I... Cool. Uh, you framed me using pin I gave you for being great, dude. I know, I know, I know. What the fuck is the matter with you? Yeah, Barry is nuts. I'm seeing shit that's not there. I'm like, I'm kind of losing my mind, man. I feel bad for I him, need, but this is crazy. Purpose. Forgiveness is something that has to be earned. I mean, he's lucky. I'm embracing my life. Yeah. Get rich or die trying. That was the trailer. Get busy living or get busy dying, I think is what it is. Barry is nuts. I think Barry is so far gone that he literally was like, I will go here at the risk of possibly dying. Noho Hank could have killed him. Can you meet me at the theater tomorrow morning? What's Gene gonna do? I thought maybe Gene wouldn't believe it. Oh, he's gonna friggin' try to kill him. Try not to blow your dick off with this. Rip Torn. Rip Torn gave him a gun. I don't think it's gonna happen. I can't imagine Gene would actually yeah, do yeah. it. We'll it's a lot for a, a person to kill a man that's never killed a man before. Looking like he's preparing to do I so. Yeah. All right, he's out. I thought maybe the sun would stop him or something. Oh, he might follow. What if the sun, the sun knows something's up. I feel like the sun's gonna tail him and either get shot or see his father do something he doesn't want him to see. Uh oh, this could be bad. I feel like it's gonna end on a cliffhanger. I don't think we're gonna know. I feel like we're approaching the end already. Must be hard uh, closing up this place. My career is shit, Barry. See, he's being too weird. He's not being wacky. Remember the guy that took me into the woods? The Raven. Like the singer. Yeah, Robert Goulet. Kenneth Goulet. Robert Goulet's the singer. After he popped the trunk, he said, Barry Berkman did this. What if Gene goes, You have two choices. Come with me to the station, turn yourself in, or fucking die. Is this real? Oh my god, he dropped the gun. Oh, the chamber fell out. Oh my god, what is Barry? Does he kill Gene? Please don't kill Gene. Mr. Kuzma. Oh my god, he's kind of oh. got to kill Gene now. Oh fuck, don't kill Gene. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, it's gonna end like that, isn't it? You don't have to do this. We can get past this. Please, dear God, I'm not gonna tell anybody. For Christ's sake, put that fucking gun down. Fuck, I don't know what's real and not. Look, whatever you've done, I forgot. I forgive you. Forgiveness has to be earned. Then fucking earn it! That's fucking creepy. It's like he's seeing him dead, but he saw that before and he didn't do it. How does he earn it? What does he do? I know how I can make it up to you. Kill Fuchs? What? Like... I know what I can do. What? Get back in the trunk. All right, guys. Holy crap. I would have bet 50-50 Gene was dead at the end of this episode. I started getting really upset because... After the gun fell, it was kind of funny. And the fact that Gene is like a bumbling fool some of the time, he right off the bat was too aggressive and too serious. But then he showed his cards. He told Barry Fuchs, a.k.a. Kenneth Goulet, Robert Goulet was the singer he mentioned. But he realizes, I'm just going to show you my cards and tell you I have a gun. Either we go to the police station, you turn yourself in, or I kill you right now. And Gene even goes wild with it. He's like, I will fucking kill you right now. As he says, it drops the chamber out of the gun. The bullets roll on the floor. I thought at that moment, because of how the beginning started, it starts off forgiving Jeff. And you don't forgive Jeff. So now how does... 
Gene forgive him, and now Barry's like, you can't forgive. You have to kill these people. The fact that he did what I thought he should have done and would have done in the beginning, some guy hires you to kill a dude. You can't back out of the deal because part of the agreement is now you both know someone's dead. You hired me to kill somebody. You paid me money. Now you are conspiring conspirator in the murder. So if you rat on me, you're just as guilty because you hired me. But granted, obviously, the guy who kills the person is a little more guilty. But Barry's like, oh, you want out of the deal now? In the beginning, kills the guy and the guy who slept with the dude's wife. Hilarious scene. He's like, yeah, he fucked my wife. Big deal. My wife's not so innocent. Yeah, well, then you shouldn't have hired some crazy guy to kill Jeff. You can't forgive Jeff. They both die. So now at the end, I'm like, oh my God, all this foreshadowed that you can't forgive. There is no... Other option, there is no way out. Gene is dead. But I'm thinking, oh my God, the only hope here is that Gene could somehow get through to him because he does have a place in his heart for Gene. You saw it. Barry was very emotional, didn't want to do it. If anyone's got a chance, it's Gene. And he did it. He gets shot in the head. I'm like, oh my God, please do the Sally thing from before because Sally got shot in the head, but she didn't really get shot in the head. All right, they also foreshadowed that. So it could either be the very beginning of the episode or it could be the part with Sally where she got shot in the head, but didn't. It foreshadowed both things. So I don't know which one it is, but he's talking while blood is running down his head. He got shot straight in the forehead. So clearly Gene is not dead. It is Barry seeing that. And Barry even starts second guessing reality at this point because he sees it happening. But Gene talks him into it. He says, I swear. We're on the life of my grandkid. And I don't know if that specifically triggered Barry because then Barry said, wait, I have an idea. Get back in the trunk. He still is going to kidnap Gene or at least have some alternate plan that still involves Gene being his kidnapped prisoner. Gene swore on the life of his grandkid nothing would happen. So Barry clearly isn't 100% believing that because he's still kidnapping Gene. But holy crap, that escalated quickly. I thought for sure Gene was a goner for a second there. Sally, I got to give her credit for the working drive and everything. She is on point. The second they say action, she is in character. She is doing 20,000 different things, picking colors, doing this. Everything is basically up to her and she is dictating and delegating everything like you probably would need to at that position. The only thing I don't like is she is mean to people right to their face. And I almost kind of respect that too because she has no filter and she's basically like this is how it is if you want to live in my world now but I mean that's just kind of not the person I'd ever want to be with or hang out with it's nothing against her if that's how you want to be and you're going to be straight in people's face about it then that's their problem for dealing with it honestly I don't know it's like I'm on the fence with her because I don't want to like that kind of person but she is that kind of person to a T in a great way. And the actress I've always said is phenomenal. I cannot remember her name, but the actress, phenomenal. Good job. Barry, all over the place. Let's just end with Noho Hank and Crystal Ball. They, at the end of season two, embraced each other. Fuke said, you guys are like my cats. I got to separate you guys. Clutching each other greatly. Then all of a sudden, Barry busts in and all hell broke loose. We apparently learn that all of Crystal Ball's people are dead. Some of Noho Hank survived. Crystal Ball would want Barry dead, but Barry is so much of a head case now that he is literally willing to go into the den of the devil and ask for a job. Uh, Noho Hank, he, Barry's just lucky that Noho Hank loves him so much because anybody else would have probably shot Barry on sight. Fuchs is hiding out in Chechnya and we got pretty much everything on the surface now. We saw the detectives explaining to Gene that Barry was actually trying to be a friend and is totally off the hook and they're going after the Raven now. So says Noho Hank, but everything kind of confirmed the stories. Even Gene confirmed the story by pointing out Fuchs. It's funny how all this kind of just happens, but the detectives are the biggest idiots. We already know this. I want to jump into the promo. I want to see more of this. I want to see where we're going from here. What is Barry's idea? Barry's like, I got it. I know what to do. Get back in the trunk. What is he going to do that would save it? The only thing I could think of is that they're all going to go along with the plan that Fuchs did this, but it still doesn't change the fact that Barry killed Janice and we are quite clear on the fact that Gene was madly in love with her. He said many times, look how traumatized he was. He literally lost his shit for the entire finale. He was willing to go to jail. Like, the, the cops were trying to get confessions out of him and talk to him and just get, like, 
uh, into his head. And the only reason he got released was because of the pin that Noho Hank gave Barry, that Barry used to try to frame them all, and it all kind of worked. And then in the end, it all went full circle back to Fuchs. I feel like Noho Hank and Crystal Ball are the happiest right now of everybody. Uh, Sally's got a lot of shit going on, but she's successful. Barry's all up in the freaking air right now. And Gene... I don't know what is going to happen to him, but right now he's still alive. Thank God for that. You guys want to be way ahead. I'm jumping into the promo right now. It's going to be in a separate video, but if you want to see more of this, I have season one and two, Barry season three up in full, probably further ahead than you're seeing on YouTube, depending on how I get along, but I'm going to try to get these out the same night. You want to see more of that? Full on editor Patreon videos of everything I do. Seasons ahead of what you're seeing. Patreon link in front of me as well as everything else I just said. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.